Hi, I am Dr. Punita Rangaraj, obstetrician and infertility specialist of Cambridge Hospital, also Bangalore. This condition is called as unexplained infertility. What is infertility? When a couple is married for more than one year, having a normal sexual life without any contraception, still if they are not able to conceive, then it is called as infertility. When such a condition arises, the couple seeks an infertility specialist advice. We run through a series of tests to find out as to what could be the cause for this couple. Basically, we do a laboratory test or a hormonal study for an LH, FSH, prolactin, thyroid and AMH to do the ovarian reserve, so on and so forth. And the second test would be, we do an ultrasound scanning to find out whether there is any uterine abnormality or any abnormal growth like a fibroid or a polyp etc. Or to find out whether there is any ovarian cyst or any polycystic ovary. And the third test would be the tubes. There are two tubes on both sides of the uterus called fallopian tubes. The patency of this tube is very important for pregnancy because that transports the egg when it is released towards the uterus for fertilization. A few tests are done to find out the patency of this tube called HSG or SSG. And the fourth test would be a semen analysis for the husband to find out the quality of the semen, its count, its motility, so on and so forth. And a regular follicular monitoring done for a few cycles to find out whether she is ovulating regularly. When all these parameters are normal, still when the couple is not able to conceive, then we call it as unexplained infertility or the doctor says, I don't know or God only knows. But it is not so. Maybe there are a few other reasons which cannot be detected by these tests what we do. Basically, there are a few hurdles. One is maybe the quality of the egg. The quality of the egg is very important for fertilization and to go on for a baby. But the quality comes down because of the age, because of endometriosis or it could be genetic. And the second thing is, and unfortunately, this quality of the egg cannot be identified by any of the laboratory tests. The second thing is the tubes. Though the tube test shows that the tubes are open, it may not be healthy. If it is not healthy, it will not be able to function is, do its function properly. That can be diagnosed by doing a laparoscopy to find out whether the tubes are diseased or not. If the tubes are diseased, even if it is open, the ideal is to clip the tubes and advise the patient to go for an IVF. And the third thing is the lining of the uterus called endometrium, which is also very important for the fertilized embryo to get implanted and grow. Suppose there is any infection in the endometrial cavity, which you call endometritis, or any tuberculous infection in the endometrium, the fertilized embryo will not be able to get fixed to the endometrium and grow to be a baby. This can be diagnosed by doing a procedure called hysteroscopy where you visualize the inner portion of the uterus and we take a biopsy from there, send it to the laboratory. If it is a pure infection, can be treated medically or if it is a tuberculosis infection in the uterus which is very common in our country, can be treated with an anti tuberculosis drugs and then followed by infertility or a ART technique. When all these three parameters are normal, still the patient is not able to conceive, it could be a fertilization failure. Though the sperm is normal, the semen analysis shows it is normal, but maybe it is not able to penetrate the egg and fertilize it. And again, there is no way to find out whether this fertilization is taking place or not. And these type of cases, you give a few cycles of ovulation induction and if she doesn't get pregnant, do a few cycles of IUI. Even then, if she doesn't get pregnant, the ideal would be to go for an IVF ICSI where we do the fertilization in the laboratory so that we can come over out of this hurdle.